welcome to part three of how to build a small business website with Hubway Themes. I'm Corey Freeman, and we're going to be cleaning up the design we have so far and removing the widgets from our pages while leaving them on our posts. So let's go ahead and get started. So on the About Us page, I actually don't want any widgets and I don't want any on the Contact Us either. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the grid. Using the drop down, I'm going to select single page. And from here, I'll simply clone the front page layout. I'll hit save and view site. And now you can see if I go to contact us, I don't have the widget area. And if I go to about us, I won't have that. And of course I won't have it on home because we've already worked with that. I'm going to go back to my front page and open up the block options for the footer. Here I'm going to get rid of these extra links and just leave it as my copyright. And now that everything is in place, I'm going to go ahead and work with the design. Moving into design mode, I'll start with my company website name. Uh, in this case, I'll just edit the regular element of site title. I'm going to change the font to a white so I can read it. And I'll also change the font family to a Google font just to spice it up a little. I'll edit the regular element for the site tagline too. This is just so every time a site tagline is loaded, it'll take on this styling. I'll make it easier to read and not italic. I'm also going to get rid of the margins. I can click this link to edit all the fields at once and set them all to zero. I'll do the same thing for the site title. I'll edit the regular element for the menu item and change those to white. For the states selected, which is the current menu item, I'll just go ahead and change that one to white also. So it kind of works like a tab. And I'll edit the regular element states hover to give my menu items that sort of tabbed appearance also. I'll move down here to the footer and get rid of this border. I'll select the copyright, make that easier to see. I don't really like the font that the website is using, so over here on the right hand side, under global styling, text, fonts, I'm going to change it to Arial. And the last thing I see is that my tagline does need just a little bit of a margin, so I don't want to get rid of all of it, so I'll add 15. hit save. Over on the articles page, I'll open up design mode. It looks like I forgot to add some widgets, so I'll actually use the admin widgets to add some. This is an appearance widget. Let's see, I'll do recent posts, search, and categories. So if I look again, you'll see that those have appeared. I'll reload the visual editor so I can see them. And I'll click edit regular element. I'll add a little bit of padding. and maybe a background.
just to make them stand out. Obviously I could sit around and play with these design options um, for hours just to kind of tweak the design, but that's pretty much all it would take to get your company website set up. And that is, in a nutshell, how to build a simple website with Headway themes. Check out headway101.com, the tutorial library, for more video tutorials on building websites and working with blocks. Thanks for watching.